Good morning, YouTube mine lovers. Tom and Julie here. Good morning. She's kind of dark. Where is she? I'm here. There she is. We're out in the Jeep riding up a wash and we're looking for some mine, so let's keep going. the road go? Where's the road? Well, you're not going to fit a really wide vehicle to there, are you? No, I'm not, no, I don't know if we're going to fit into here. <laughs> um, oh boy, I think this is... Is this the road? I don't know. Pretty tight. I think we're on an ATV trail. Yeah. Well, we're making progress down the rocky road. Wow, not much of a road. But we're making our way. There's some flowers right in the middle of the road. Well, we're supposed to be near a cabin a spring and a mine. Well, there's the cabin. Looks like it's in pretty good shape still. There's an old fence here that somebody's put up for something or other. Wow, it's the back up in here, isn't it? Yeah, tucked away in here. Here's the cabin. It's pretty well beat up. The cows have been using it. This is kind of free range cattle country. And the cows have been using it for something. Hanging out, I guess. This was a little screened in area back here. This is behind the main, the front of the cabin. Here, a little work table back here. I don't know what they were doing, but. And this looks like a little pantry area. There are a number of cans and stuff in here. And the cows have been hanging out in here pooping all over. I mean in a big way. Look at that mess. Wow. Look at the old uh, wallpaper. That's crazy. Almost matches the couch. So that's all cow crap. And then there are some cans here. This looks like it might have been the kitchen. I'm guessing a bathroom here maybe? Or another pantry. Not much going on at the old Dunbarton cabin. Hmm. Well. It's funny, these were screened in too, these cabinets. There's a, looks like a D-Lo can. That's actually pretty scenic, isn't it? It's really windy again today, so. That's the cabin rattling behind me. It's about to rattle apart. We'll look at the front of it in a second. This is the minerals we're seeing. It's actually a, a nice looking vein. I don't know where Julie is. Oh, she's back in the Jeep. What are you doing back in the Jeep? It's cold. It is cold. It's cold and windy. So that's the vein. Here's another little part of this mineral vein. At least we get to see some minerals today. So there's the front of the cabin. It's pretty well beat up. The wind's gonna tear this thing apart in no time. 
That piece right above Julie's head is going to come off later today. So, pretty well beat up. Let's go find the next thing. Okay. We're going down a canyon that's supposed to have a lot of mines and a lot of stuff going on. So, this is looking out. We got to go back to those roads you can see in the distance there. Distance. Well, we just came over a ridge and we're going down. We've been coming up this whole time and now we're going down. There are a ton of mines down this canyon. I'm not even sure we can get down the thing, but we're going to find out. Well, we have found a mine. Let's go in. The portal's open. It's right here. This is the first one we've come to down this canyon. And while the waste pile didn't look very big, you never do know about these things. It's got a reddish color to it. Oh, there was some track in here. Strap rail, 2x4 with a inch strap on top. Screwed down or nailed down to the 2x4. It looks like they're using like a cedar post natural timbering. Yeah. Doesn't that look like cedar? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, or whatever these other pine trees are in this area. Watch your head. There's a little timbered area. Uh, I don't see it going past what you can see here. No, that just ends. That's just a cross cut about 30 feet long. Interesting little timbered area though here. Okay, let's keep going. Couple more timber sets here. A slat yeah, that's weird. That's what you do to make a slat rail fence. Huh. I wonder why they did that. The rail is still present. Were these gold mines up in here, Julie, or was it a little bit of everything? Cinnabar, cinnabar too? Yeah. Because they're red a lot of times is cinnabar or, or mercury. A little less stable area here it looks like. I like the timbers. Yeah, it's, it's kind of haphazard, not the pretty. Oh yeah, stuff, no, it's not pretty, but it's working. You know? It's holding all this back. Yeah. On both sides, they've used some natural lagging. Yeah, this, does this look like it went through at one it time? Like it I see a timber back in there. Mm -hmm. There are a few of them. Are there? there. Well, it doesn't look like it goes through now. If it did, it was either completely backfilled or collapsed. I don't know where all this stuff came from. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Not the most stable mine we've ever been in. This is looking up alongside the timbering. I guess it's all pretty fractured what this is going through, this drift. Here's a gate or something. Yeah. Let's go straight. Oh boy, that looks like a shaft over there. Let's finish the main drift first. Look at this thing. Wow. 
See, this stuff is all very loose. Like this big one has come down, obviously, since they put this little stall in here. Oh yeah. Wheelbarrow. Yeah. An old wheelbarrow with no wheel on it. Just the barrow. Looks like it was well used. A wheelless wheelbarrow. Turn around and take a look at it. There it is. Looks like a pretty standard. Although it's not. It's a riveted. Uh, riveted pan on this thing. You don't see that anymore, do you? Could even be homemade. Here's a frame for something. Dude, they, they use these for track ties, looks like. Huh? Yeah, they use natural, natural uh, timbers for track ties. We've seen that before, but not very often. Oh. Only a couple times. There's a can. No identifying marks. What does that say? Block Brothers West Virginia Mail Pouch Tobacco. Oh, tobacco pouch. Mail pouch. Mail pouch. Oh, it's got the stamps on it and everything. Yeah, oh, here's the face. I'm going to take a picture of that when I get done looking at this. So that's the end of this drift. We do have the uh, shop to go look at, though. All right, let's backtrack and go look down that shaft. I'm guessing it's not much on these little mines, but who knows? So don't leave. Here's the wheelless wheelbarrow. The wheelless riveted wheelbarrow. There's a wood barrel hoop. That's down the main line, and this is taking a left as we're exiting to the shaft. Oh yeah, look at that stack job. Yeah, it's like Jenga. Is this going anywhere over here? Hard to say. Oh boy. Oh, huh. This looks fun. Who would have guessed it? Should we try it? Yeah. You up for it? Yeah. Okay, this shaft support is loose. This one's a little tighter. Okay. Always a little awkward because the rungs are on the back side of the ladder. Yeah. The skip ladder. Creek. Feels pretty solid so far. Okay. It's a little awkward where this first support is. Okay. The spacing of the run is awkward. Pretty well used ladder. Uh, hey, it ends. Oh. <laughs> okay. Looks like there was a windlass here. You can see it here. Here. And there. And look at the timbering up here.
Isn't that neat? It looks like it extends in a little excavation off to the side over here. Otherwise, it just kind of it ends in a pit down here. Oh. Unless there's something I can't see. Okay. Okay, that's looking back up the ladder. And you get here, the ladder stops. And then there's about another 12 feet down to the bottom there. And I can't really tell if it goes left or right. What I do see right here is a little pocket to the left that they've worked. Let's go look at that first. Now that's going to be all that is, it's just a small pocket, there's some bones down there, I don't know what that is, probably a rabbit, this is looking back at the shaft and the ladder, there's a leg bone off of something, what happened down there? Well the bottom 10 feet of ladder is missing. Doesn't look like it does a whole lot anyway, but it's hard to say. You have to go get it wrong. So I came off the ladder. There's another little excavation here, but quite small. Oh, there's a tobacco can though. Look at that, nice one. At least it looks like it, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's about the shiniest one we've seen. Still got the stamp on top too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm coming back to the ladder. The camera's pretty cool. Just looking back down. That's looking up. I'm almost up. You're back. I'm back. Ouch. There was an old manila rope on here at one time. Mm. I would have liked to have gone down to the very bottom, but the ladders are gone. That's not good. Not exactly. So there's the Prince Albert can. I straightened it out a bit. Um, it doesn't have the stamp on the bottom. Some of the older ones had the bottom of the can embossed. There's a um, stamp on the top of it and the side. Sometimes they have a date on them, although I don't know. I'd have to put my glasses on to see if you can read that one. Well, it looks like this is a shaft. I feel air moving through here. I climbed up this little chute and I can see up there a ways that this goes. There's a prospect up above us. There's a tobacco can. So, look at all the mess of natural timbers up in here. Anyway, I can't get up in here safely, so I'm coming back down. Okay, we're heading back out. It was kind of fun. There's an old bottle of some sort. Here's a last look at some of these timbers. Interesting little mine. There's a unnamed prospect up above us that maybe that shaft I was just up in leads to. Because there was a lot of air blowing through there somewhere. Going somewhere. So maybe we'll go look at that. Last look at these cool timbers.
And we're back to the track. So that was kind of fun, wasn't it? It was. So I know it was a small mine, you guys, but uh, we appreciate you watching. They can't all be huge multi-level monsters. So we appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.